What's up, everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today we are going to be playing In Death. So the game just released on the Oculus Store today, and man, I'm excited for this one. I've been tracking it for a little while. It's a roguelite, procedurally generated bow shooter, and it's done by Soulfar Studios. These are the guys who did Everest VR. Now, if you've played Everest, you know the graphics in that were freaking phenomenal. This, I can't wait to check it out. So let's get my bow and let's get in there and see if I can kick ass through the afterlife in In Death. Okay, so before we get started, one thing I did want to cover is if you are like me and you love the free movement in the game, well, so far has got you covered. So right here in the experimental features, you can see they do have touchpad joystick locomotion. We're going to go ahead and flick that to on. And uh, unfortunately, there is no smooth turning. It is snap turning, but you know, hey, you got room scale, so... I mean, you can just walk and turn. So, all right, we are set for standing right hand, and uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so here we are in death. We've died, we're in purgatory, and they gave us a bow and an arrow. So, all right, now, I did start playing this last night, uh, thanks to Oculus and uh, Soulfar. They, they got me in a little bit early so I could uh, kind of get my feet wet in the game before I made the video here. Uh, so we have already gone through the tutorial, so I'll kind of lead you guys through what I learned in the tutorial. Obviously, if you play the game, you can go through the tutorial yourself. So basically, you got a couple of different things you can do here. You've got your bow, this is your health, um, and it's kind of interesting the way they did the movement in this one. So if you press your uh, B or A button and pull back on the bow, it gives you a teleport arrow. Um, if you press your trigger button, that gives you an arrow that you can damage enemies with. And damn, I'm a bad shot. Oh, come on now. <laughs> and we can press this to change arrows and kind of slow down time a little bit. Kind of a little bit of a bullet time there. Or we can pull the trigger and we can pull up our shield. So, very cool there. The arrow stick in the shield. Ah. Now, I also enabled the experimental free movement in the menu, as you saw. Oh, headshot! Yes! Took you out, son! All right, but for certain places, you, you can see that that free movement's not going to get me anywhere, so I'm still going to have to use my teleport arrows here, which I'm fine with that. I really, you know, I am a free movement advocate, but I, I really don't mind when they have the controls mixed. In fact, I kind of prefer it that way. Uh, that way I can kind of mix the play styles here. Oh, shit. Oh, I'll shut you right in your crotch. Yeah. Rise. Oh, God. Dang. Oh, cool. You can knock him down with the shield. I didn't know that. Ooh, okay. So I got a new arrow here. So there we go. There's Winter's Bite, and we're going to put it right here in this slot. So now if I want to choose that arrow, like I said, I just press the um, X or Y button and that pulls up my arrow selection. And now I've got the Winter's Bite arrow loaded up. So I know you're like, blah, 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 dude, stop talking, just play the game. So, but man, these graphics look so freaking sweet. Oh yes, you freeze. Now, oh, can I pull a regular arrow and shatter them? No. That would have been really cool, though, if I could have, like, actually pulled out a regular arrow and caused these guys to shatter. But man, the graphics, the lighting really looks nice in here. Oh, headshot. Oh, 
Oh, what? who's got me? I mean, they are just coming from all angles here. Whoa! Alright. Oh, shit! I really need to learn how to travel with my shield out. Nice, you can freeze them in midair. The headshots are like really satisfying. Uh oh, you put me in the stocks there, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, cool. I can bash with my shield. You want some? You want a little of this? Oh, nice long shot. Oh, right in your crotch. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh, I've got 2,000 gold here. Okay, so that's where I came from. And a map would also be nice. And a run button. Maybe I should employ a little bit of stealth here. so dead. Yes. All right, but I unlocked some achievements here, so all right, very cool. So now the game does also have a leaderboard, so you know you can definitely play and uh, score up against your friends here, and of course I suck so bad I'm not even on it, but very, very cool there. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out what we got here. Target practice, make headshots far away, got that one, uh, lay them to rest. Uh, exterminate 21 abominations, temple raider, slay three temple knights, uh, and between the eyes, score six headshots. Let's go ahead and back to the sanctuary here. And so, okay, so it does look like, I thought these were levels. Well, it, I think these are the, the different achievements and I'm filling them up as I go. So it looks like uh, we're just going to explore and then try to fill up those achievements. And, you know, like I said in the intro here, it is procedurally generated, so obviously you can see it changed this time. Oh, nice long shot. Hmm, right in the belly. And I will say, even though I'm not too good at it, the bow mechanic in this is probably one of the best bow and arrow mechanics I have seen in a game yet. Um, oh, I didn't get my ice arrows. 
Man, I really suck. sound they make when you hit them with the arrow too, a little screaming sound. Kind of sounds like the uh, wraiths in Lord of the Rings. Oh, right, I just fell over your head. good too when the arrows are flying past you. <clears throat> gotcha. Oh, you ran in. So, the funny thing is I was just going to make a comment about how the AI is kind of dumb, but you can see this guy ran over here and flanked me and I can tell you that's the same. Oh, ow. I can tell you that's the same guy because you can see that some of his health was already gone. Oh, you got shields too. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's just back the hell out here, folks. This is where I could use a run button. Shoot you in your knees, son. Catch you in the dome. I'll tell you another thing that would be really good in here is multiplayer. Um, getting kind of intense. Really need some of those special arrows. Oh, who's shooting? so dead again. Oh. All right, there we go. I have died yet again. And uh, man, didn't really get anything uh, except for Storm the Abbey here. So, all right, let's go ahead and we will return to the sanctuary. And I think I'll give her one more go before we uh, cap the video for today. But man, so far, I'm, you know, the, okay, I'll say right now that what I really wish this had is I really wish this had some story or narration. Um, you know, um, it is going to be a little repetitive, I can see, with just the procedurally generated um, pass and all the different enemies. But I really want to get to see some of the bigger enemies. So, all right, let's keep going. And duh, what am I thinking? I mean, the game is meant for teleport. That's why I need to start to learn how to teleport away versus
walking away. But you know, for the free movement uh, so far, if you're watching, it would be really nice. Oh, right to my dome. It'd be really nice to have a run button. And not to be a dumbass like I am and just stand right here and get shot. point blank and I couldn't even hit the guy. Seriously, the bow and arrow is actually really good. I just really suck. Oh, you guys don't see me. Oh, shit. Aha! Now, I will say, even with the teleport arrows, God, it's like I'm getting ganged up on too much here. Not today. That's right. I'm not getting any further in this game today, man. It is, uh, it is kicking my ass. So, all right, I think we're going to go ahead and cap it here. But, man dig in this game. All right, let's head to the outro. All right, so that was in death, and man, let me tell you, I thought that was pretty freaking cool. Great graphics, good bow mechanic. So if you thought it was cool, I am going to throw a link for it down in the description so you can grab a copy for yourself. But for me today, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you made it this far. And if this was your first time coming by my channel, man, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. If you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page. Take a look through my videos. You never know what you're going to find in there. And after you do that, if you liked what you saw, smash subscribe. Come along with me next time I do something cool in VR. And of course, if you're already subscribed here at the channel, guys, I can't thank you enough. We are so close to hitting 6,000 subscribers, and I owe that to each and every one of you. So let's talk about it down in the comments. Tell me what you would like me to play on the channel going forward but for me i'm done this is vr gamer dude signing off y'all peace